What's up guys, Bubba here from Team Cribcraft, and today we're playing here on the good old Cribcraft SMP server. Uh, we're here in my house at the moment, um, so you can tell Kevin's got 21 deaths now, I've got 19, 17 for Neil, 8 for Rich, Kyle, Fink's got 3, Matt's got 3, and Dan doesn't really play on the server anymore, but he has got 1. Uh, if you remember from my last episode of the SMP, uh, there were some trees here. Now there's not. Um, also, if you remember from the SMP that I uploaded a while ago, um, there used to be a nice little mushroom tree over here. Since then, a creeper uh, decided it wanted to mess everything up, and it kind of, you know, not. I can't really replant the mushroom tree because you need that mycelium block. So I decided to take my terraforming skills into practice and uh, create a little hill in here and this is where my ender chest is hanging out now and if you notice this I decided to take it upon myself to kill another star I mean not kill another kill a wither okay there's a zombie I just saw him you can go sit over there boom die, die you stupid zombie I ah, can't, can't can't do anything without something happening but as you can see I killed, killed a wither got another star and for that reason, I'm thinking that I'm going to pack it up at this little location here, build myself a beacon house. And what I'm saying by that is, my little humble abode right here, probably next time that you all see it on an episode after this one's up, is going to be no more, because this little humble abode is probably going to be taken down, its parts are going to be used for the next uh, amazingness that's going to happen. That is sitting right over there in the distance. You can kind of see it. Um, but we're going to run over there. So uh, how y'all doing? Uh, welcome to another episode of the SMP. Um, who knows, this is obviously uploaded for you guys, but I'm recording it on a Tuesday after school. And uh, But here's where it's going to be. Um, it's loosely based off of a house from Crewcraft. Um, season 1, uh, they kind of killed with there obviously so that they could get a beacon oh I just thought about that that's gonna need to become five if I'm gonna center it because my plan is underground here I'm gonna put the uh, only iron blocks for the beacon and I'm gonna have a beacon sitting right up in the middle but if I'm gonna do that this can't be four that needs to be five or I need to shrink it down to three to make it all symmetrical just because I'm like that I'll probably make it five because down these little hallways here they're going to be uh, probably storage rooms, so that'll be nice. And then uh, back here, I'm probably going to have like a nice big window on either side with probably a fireplace, because I can. Second floor is probably going to have my bedroom on it, and then the third floor is probably just going to be some more chests. Probably going to add another mine. It'll probably go down in one of the hallways, but that's what I wanted to show you guys uh, right now. So uh, we might work on this a little bit. Probably not, though. Uh, as you can see, I'm not wearing my uh, amazing diamond boots that we got going on here because they cost 33 levels to chant, enchant and uh, or not enchant to fix, and I don't have that ATM. So uh, we're gonna head down to the mob grinder. I'm gonna show you guys what we got going on down there, and uh, that's pretty much what we're gonna do for the first part of the episode. Um, depending on when when's night time. Night time's almost here. Uh, Actually, we might let's head over to the swamp a little bit. We'll do some uh, slime ball farm, and then we're gonna head down into the good old Nether. Not the Nether. The, I can't talk. It's it's official. I'm stupid. Um, but I can't talk very much right now. Uh, so that's no bueno. Uh, what else was I gonna say? Um, but we're gonna go slime ball farming after the night's over. It'll probably be about 13 minutes into the episode. Make a quick little cut. Head down to the mob grinder. Do that, finish it off with me fixing my boots, and then uh, next time that you see uh, me on an SMP video recording it, it'll probably be, you'll see my uh, newly finished house. Plans are, obviously dark oak wood, uh, probably some cobblestone or stone brick accents to go with that, and uh, debating on which clay to use. Um, we found a mesa, by the way. Uh, that's something I might do on another episode. I might record two of these. Uh, so I've got to take my sister somewhere in a little bit. So I might go finish up the railroad and we can go check that out. 
Because I've got all the pieces for it. It's in under my chest. And I'd rather not have to move that before I move everything out of the house. So that's a thing. But here's the swamp. I've got lots of biomes right here. we got, obviously, the extreme hills. we got a village there. I don't know if I pointed that out. we got plains. Uh, dark oak wood. Roof forest. Birch forest. There's a flower tree. Tr flower forest. Forest. Flowers. I don't know what it's called. We'll check that out. I may check that out. But it's in the cuts. But here's my swamp, obviously, that we're in. Uh, we're going to be drink, not drinking. What am I saying? Uh, we're just going to put these on just so I can run through the water. Hopefully they don't break because I might cry just a little. But then I'll need to let it go. Go, 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 go. Uh, I need to quit doing song references because I can't sing. I really can't. And my voice just cracked a little bit. Hopefully that's not super picked up. But now you can all make fun of me because I told you about it. But who cares? Whatever. Uh, hopefully we can get quite a few slimes. Last time I did this, I think I came away with about two and a half stacks worth of slimes because I've got that looting three sword. Like, GG. Good luck. Because this thing will knock the crap out of slimes. Um, some XP from the last time I killed one. Sugar and cane, for some reason, really make me want to think that those are slimes. But... See here, they are. Oh, Ender Dude, Lego, Lego. Oh, he doesn't even want to. He doesn't even want to come back at me. Doesn't even want to come back at me. Oh, oh, you want to fight? You want to fight? Ooh, ooh, ooh! Come at me, bro! Come at me! Like GG, I rate eight out of eight, mate. Yeah, Kyle's you what, mate? Kind of rubbed off on me a little bit, and I don't like it. I really don't. It's starting to become part of my vocabulary, and Kyle's... Ah. Can't trust a Kyle, ladies and gentlemen. Just can't trust a Kyle. Really. This is surprising. Actually, it's not terribly surprising, because usually I'll go a few minutes into the night without finding one, but... Usually not this long. Let's try to get it across the water here. In that Depth Strider 3. When this comes to Xbox, well, I'm probably not going to play much Xbox survival anyways, but... It, it's a wonderful thing. You can just go through water like there's absolutely no tomorrow. And I can't think... Of there's a slime! Woo! Two of them. But that creeper's over there. I don't like that. Uh, we're going to see if that creeper's going to want to come and play. He doesn't. Ah, you go away. You go away. Boom, boom, boom. I like slime balls. I don't even use the slime balls. Mostly Neil takes them for me. For a slight purchase, but... I'm going to start keeping on to some more of them, just because uh, I want to do something fun with them in my house. Uh, if I can figure out how to do like a trampoline redstone thing, or have Neil or Rich do it for me, because I know they would. They, they would happily do it, and Neil would definitely do it for some slime balls, because he's doing a lot of redstone stuff to his house. Uh, if he ever decides to record an episode, that'd be great, because obviously you guys don't really get to interact with him very often, because he's done videos or streams or much at all in general I guess as we could say there's another slime Lego Lego but as I was saying with that uh Neil uh it'd be cool you guys could actually like get a like hear his voice you don't really get to hear it very often I think last time we was in a video it was the SMP no I don't think it was it I was trying to think was it the Q&A or not go away it's the one bad thing about slimes you have to fight them at night because that's the only time that they spawn unless you're down in the cave but then you're still dealing with mobs. And sorry if you can hear my mouse, because it's really loud. Ah, ah, ah. Die, die, die. Die, die. Die, zombie, die. Uh, let's eat a little bit. Chicken jockey? Chicken jockey. Are you kidding me? Chicken jockey. TBH, haven't seen that before. Actually, I might have. I don't know. Let's just grab some of that stuff. Two slimes. And a 33-per. I don't like that. Ah! Die. 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 Oh! Going ham on these kids. But, uh, you might... I don't know. Kyle and I might not I don't know if this ever got mentioned in the video. Uh, throw that up. Because I want slime balls more than I want this other random crap in my inventory. Because, you know what? I can get all that stuff back a lot easier than slime balls. Because slime ball is love. Slime ball is life. 
another spider because I don't even know anymore. Die, 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 die. Knockback is not the only thing I don't like about the sword is because the slimes will get knocked back into the water and then I have to like chase them in the water, but I've got Depth Strider. But it's not a huge deal, it's just more of a nuisance, you know? Because then I have to like chase after the XP if I really want it, but once you'll see, we obviously do have the Mob Grinder, which is very nice. There was another slime. I, I saw him. There's a... No. Or did I already take him out? Did I take him out? More pumpkins. I don't care about pumpkins. They're practically useless. There's pumpkin pie. Yay, it gives you four hearts back. Yay, saturation sucks in everything on PC. Die. Oh, oh, the witch, the witch, the witch, the witch. The witch is dead. She sucks. I don't understand why people are so scared of witches. Like, yeah, I've got some of the best armor on the server, obviously, but like that just did a heart to me. And you can die, and you can die, and you can die, and you can die. See, look at that. I've got so many slime balls. Throw down some string. I ain't ever scared. You know I mean it. Like, here's a bunch of this stuff. Run there and pick up all this XP. Editator, because you know what? Why not? No more slimes. Slow ones. None. Still not finding anymore? This is not a very good uh, run right now for getting slimes. Really wish it was a little bit more exciting, but you know, the mobs, they make it a little bit exciting for the recording. And I feel like I had a very awkward silence about there for a minute, but no biggie, because I'm not the best at commentating because I have bad social skills, according to my mother. And you know what? You can deal with it. Well, actually, you probably can't. Because I'm sounding like a really bad person right now, like saying, you can deal with it, and yada, 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 screw you, is basically what I'm saying right now. Okay, can we... Die, 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 die. I don't like being in water. Water and mobs and I don't go well together. Die, 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 die. Anybody else want to come over here? Die, 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 die. I don't care about these guys. Like, I'm not even scared of these guys. I'm not scared of the slimes either, but I just don't want to deal with, like, one, two, good with 18 on my butt. I'm not a fan. Die, 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 die. Grab all those. Oh, you want to, oh, you want to play games, huh? You've got a bow? You've got a bow! That, that's not a thing. Skeleton cannot have bow. Skeleton and bow are a solid no-no. If you can't remember that rhyme, that's going to be the title. Skeleton, bow, skeleton, wait. Zombie and bow is a definite no-no. Yeah, there we go. That That's the title. Chicken jockey! Chicken jockey! Chicken jockey! But, nah, done. Zombie and bow, definite no-no. Granted, I don't think you can really shoot arrows, considering you know the fact that it's a zombie, and they don't have an infinite amount of arrows like skeletons do. I don't know why skeletons aren't in charge of bows. Like, there's nothing on it that a skeleton gives that could give you bows. Like, if you think about it, skeletons have bones, and... That's it. They don't have any string to make a bow and arrow. They don't have wood. Like, spider? I understand a bow and arrow. Because, you know, he's got string so he can, like, pull back. Zombie? I understand it more because he's got muscles to pull the arrow back. But a skeleton? No. You know what? I didn't make the game. Notch did. So, uh, if you really want to, you can complain to him about that. So, the sun's rising. And uh, we're going to get ourselves over towards the mob grinder. I'm going to go sort through a bunch of junk in my inventory. And uh, I will be right back with all y'all. So I guess that I will see you in just a couple minutes. And we're back. So uh, I made it all the way back over towards the mob grinder. I found this a while ago, but about a week and a half ago, I decided that I would uh, make it uh, look all pretty and stuff. And uh, there goes that torch.
by torch. Um, but here it is, obviously. I've got a forked mega former on, that's why you guys can see so well at night. But it's dark in there, trust me, it is dark. But uh, here's the mob grinder, so uh, we're just gonna throw a bunch of junk down here. Like, uh, actually, some of I can throw some of this stuff away, like boom, boom, throw away it. four seeds. Uh, two eggs. Nobody got time for that. Uh, let's see what what can I throw in there? Some dirt, dirt. Uh, we got ignits up. In, ing, ignits, ingots. I'm an idiot. We're gonna we're just gonna throw away two pieces of cobblestone. But as you can see here, do I? Have, yes, I do have diamonds. So it's one, two, and three. Level 34 enchantment, so uh, we'll keep that in mind as we get going here, but we're going to sit down right here. Do I have any of those stone swords on me? No, no, no. Okay, we'll just go with the diamond sword. It's not like it's a big deal. Just throw that down there. Obviously, you can see here we got all this stuff. If it's leather armor or unenchanted anything, I'd basically just throw it out. Like This is, a, this is basically a garbage can right here. Unbreaking one on leather armor. Oh, that's useful. Round of push. Actually, we keep that. Because Kevin found a really good trade out in the middle of nowhere at a village for that. So, uh, y'all can die. Uh, so, boom, 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 boom. What can we throw away in here? Bow. Put that right there. Uh, wait, wrong thing. Boom, boom, boom. That's a good iron shovel. I just don't use iron shovels. Uh, we'll keep those. Those are decent enough for me to keep. Uh, throw that up in there. Uh, lots of rotten flesh. Let's start organizing this a little bit better. For stuff that I'm actually going to use and keep, that can go up there. Boom, boom, boom. Can I just eat this real fast? Hopefully I lose that health bar real fast. Food bar, I mean. Like, raw chicken? I didn't know that was a mob drop of zombies. But I do now. I can keep those. They're decent enough. We can combine them if we really want to later. Throw that up there. Boom. Feathers? I didn't know that was a mob drop either. What else we got in there? Round and flesh. Kill these guys real fast. Boom, 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 boom. So that's all of that stuff right there. And yeah, just more round flesh. Still, I have not lost this. But basically, for all y'all that want to know how this whole daggum thing works, obviously, they spawn right there. And then they fall down into that trench right there. Not really a good way for me to show you without actually going into it and... Not about that life, you know what I'm saying. So uh, they fall down there, and then it's another water thing. And I push them in from the sides, and they fall into a central tube right there in the middle. And then they come to this spot right here. And they're about like four or five blocks down right now. And they go 23 blocks up from this block row right here. So I don't know what level that is, but they go up there. And they come over two blocks, and they get a nice 23 block fall. Where there are two hits with a fist or one hit with any sword. So usually I'll just make a bunch of stone swords and just come down here for 30 minutes to an hour. And just, you know, go ham on them, get some XP. We got an enchanting station down here, obviously. So I've got a whole big bunch of enchanted books, as you can see there. When I get really lazy with it, I'll throw down a couple of these on them. I'll take that. Anything else in here I want to grab? Uh, nothing crazy. I'll grab uh, I don't need lapis right now. Throw that in there. Nothing there, but we need to get to level 34. So uh, that's not going to be too hard to do because I'm going to wow you guys with my commentary for the next five minutes. Let's see. Anything in here we want? We'll keep that. That's decent. Um, but basically, what I was going to talk about is my new computer. It might have been set on a video. Uh, I don't know. It depends on if a Hunger Games got recorded and Kyle was still talking about that. 
I don't think it did though, because I think I let it go, so we quit recording, but basically I'm getting a new computer soon. Hold on a second. I had to grab a drink of sweet tea real fast. Uh, basically I'm getting a new computer. Um, I'm getting a uh, gaming desktop. Uh, it's going to be a nice two monitor setup, so I'll have plenty of uh, workspace, you know, uh, for recording and such. So uh, that'll be nice. Uh, if I can get this set up right, uh, I should be able to maybe even begin to stream. So that'll be cool. But uh, that's what that's going to look like. So uh, hopefully you all will enjoy that. Great idea on my part. Um, the company that I'm getting it from is called Ironside PC. Uh, they're a computer company out of uh, Wisconsin. Uh, they make custom gaming PCs. Like They'll take parts from like Asus and... GeForce graphics cards and really good motherboards like ASRock and stuff. And they'll put it all together. They make custom PCs. They've also got like set PC lines, such the names I think are the Fiend, Nemesis, Minion, IMP, Conqueror. I'm getting the Fiend. It's if you guys really want to look it up, I'll put a link in the description. I'll be sure to do that. But um, it's basically their standard Intel based computer. I don't really know much about AMD. Uh, taking a PC class right now in high school, uh, just basic PC knowledge, because I might want to do something with that later in my uh, career field, so that's something uh, I might keep in mind. Um, so that's something that I'm interested in, so I'm taking a class in that right now. So uh, I hope to be able to learn some stuff about that, which uh, if I already have the computer and I want to add more to it, or uh, yeah, obviously add more to it, I don't want to take anything away from it, but... I don't really know how much it's going to cost me yet. My parents said that they'll pitch in a little bit and then I'll pay them back once I get a job in the summer. Uh, but that'll be nice to have. Uh, if I can get an Ethernet cord up into my room, which is where I'm probably going to put it, or I'm going to put it in this office that's sitting right next to me once all, all the spring furniture is taken out of it. I don't know why I did that. I tried to look over there but move my mouse. Um, and by look over there into the room that I'm sitting next to. But gonna have two monitors eventually. I'm just gonna start off with one so I won't really have like the full recording set up that I want. The second monitor, I'm gonna have like obviously the home monitor where I'm gonna put all the like actual computer like desktop on where I'll play games. I'm gonna have the second monitor which depending on what I'm streaming possibly if I am able to stream I'll be either having my Xbox on there. I'm probably gonna sell my 360 soon too so uh, once the Cribcraft world's all done we're feeling like we're wrapping up with 360 then I'm probably going to sell that stay mostly with Expo and then at that point so that's a thing so I have my Xbox One hooked up there and then I will have the uh, computer also being able to put in there so I'll have like different inputs if you know what I'm saying all you computer people sorry I mean non-computer people that don't know what I'm saying uh, sorry about that but all you people that do know what I'm saying you're probably like jaw dropped like oh my gosh yes but I, yeah, I'll put a link in the description. I'm going to get a couple of monitors off of Amazon. So uh, that'll make recording and uh, editing and uploading and everything so much easier because... Ooh, voice crack. Because um, right now I'm playing on a laptop. And you know laptops, trying to game, you're all like cramped in on a mouse and a keyboard and screen and everything. Desktops, you know, you got that much more wide freedom area. So uh, once everything gets ordered for that and... Uh, probably make an update video and then you obviously get uh, me doing a setup video. I uh, don't anticipate it being obviously like I'm going to get a computer within the next month. Uh, I've got to work out some of the money things first and a few things like that and it's going to take like 15 to 20 days for it. like yeah somewhere between 13 to 20 days for it to get to me from uh, Wisconsin which sounds like a lot but all their computers are handmade, obviously, so that makes it nice. And you definitely know that you're getting your money's worth out of it. Um, I don't know the exact specs off the top of my head, but I think it's like an i5 processor that's like 3.4 gigs. I'm getting 8 gigabytes of RAM, a 120 gigabyte SSD hard drive with a secondary 1 terabyte, which I might upgrade that to a 4 terabyte hard drive eventually once I get the money and know what to do with it. Um, but that's a thing for that, and uh, I'm trying to think what else do I need for that. Nothing else crazy for that. Um, 
I think I'm going to cut the video real fast, Skip. And uh, actually, I'm just going to close off the video here. We've been going for quite some time now, depending on where this takes me. We can get up to level... No, we're not getting to level 34 yet. So, uh, I'm going to close the video off there. Hope you all did enjoy this video of the Cryptcraft SMP. I don't know what number it is, because we've got lots of them being prepared to be uh, released to all y'all. As uh, I'm recording this, so they might already be all released to you guys, so... Uh, that's pretty much it. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, smack that like button, and peace out, guys.